Today's video will cover common errors when using push fit plumbing. The video will mainly focus around the John Guest speed fit range because that's what I personally use and that's my preference but the principles will be the same and apply to all other brands. So first up, not using pipe inserts. Some people might think they're saving time and money by not using push fit inserts with plastic pipes, but it will definitely cost you more in the long run when you get a leak. Pipe inserts play a vital role in providing extra support to pipe work, ensuring that the ends are kept nice and straight and rounded over. It also minimizes any loss of shape of the pipe when you've cut. They also give additional seals, so you've got three O-rings keeping the joint watertight rather than just one if you haven't used the insert. The inserts also help make the pipe more rigid, so reducing the chance of any leaks when a force is applied against the joint. It's also worth noting these inserts are suitable for not only central heating systems, but hot and cold water as well. Next mistake is not using lubricant on the O-rings. Now this is only relevant when they're being reused. The O-rings do come pre-lubricated from the factory, so if it's a brand new fitting, you don't need to worry. This is really only for reused fittings. Although if you choose to add additional lubricant, it's not gonna do any harm. Personally, I frequently reuse these fittings where I use push fit for a lot of temporary pipe work and then copper for permanent. So I'm often removing them, cleaning them and re-lubricating them, ready to be used again. So in that scenario, you are likely to need to re-lubricate the O-rings. Also, lubricant is particularly useful on pipe inserts when you've got a tight insert struggling to get into a piece of pipe where it's ever so slightly deformed from when you've cut it. So adding some lubricant onto the end of the inserts makes life much easier. Worth noting the lubricant needs to be silicone based and water regs approved, WRAS approved, which means it's suitable for use on drinking water. You can't use petroleum based lubricant, so Vaseline is definitely out because over time the oil based nature of them will break down the O-rings, whereas the silicone won't. Next common error is not pushing the pipe in far enough, which means you haven't got a full seal and the joint will leak almost certainly immediately. With the JG speed fit range, there are marks on the pipe and these are for insert distances. So if you cut on one of those cut lines, you know that the gap to the next one is exactly how far you need to be inserting the pipe into a fitting. So you'll always know if you've put it in far enough or not. If your required pipe length doesn't work with these spacings though, you can just mark it on the pipe yourself. So I like to offer up the fitting to the side of the pipe and then make a mark of from the middle of the fitting to the pipe and I know where I need to push into. Once you've done a few of these push fit joints though, you learn to feel that when it's gone in far enough. So the marks may become redundant for you altogether. Now the me next mistake is using a pipe which has damage on it on the piece of pipe that's gone inside the fitting. So these fittings work with an O-ring sealing up against the pipe and if you've got any nicks in that pipe that where the O-ring is pressing against, there's a likelihood that you'll get a leak coming through that gap. My advice is just to check the integrity of the pipe on the end that you're inserting into the fitting before doing so. Now the next issue is with copper pipe. So this is either when someone hasn't reamed the inside of the pipe or when they're using a factory cut end. So when you take a pipe slice to a piece of copper pipe, it doesn't give you a perfectly square cut. You end up with a slight rounding to the end of the pipe. And that means you can push it into the push fit fittings nice and easy without damaging the O-ring. Whereas if you use the square factory end, these are often sharp and will damage the O-ring, giving you a leak in the long run. Solve this, you just need to cut a short piece of the pipe off the end, so you just lose that factory end and you get your rounded over end from the pipe slice. This enables it to fit into the speed fit fitting nicely with minimal risk of damage to the O-ring. It's also important to ream your copper pipes after you cut them too. This reduces the likelihood of turbulence in the pipe work, which over time can cause pinhole leaks. Now, next error is putting the speed fit inserts inside the copper pipe when using push fit with copper. It isn't necessary to put a pipe insert into your copper pipe if you're using push fit fittings as the copper is very rigid anyway and gives a good seal. 